All right, on to rationals. The function f of x equals x minus 8 times the quantity x plus 3 all over x squared plus 5x minus 24 is given. Which of the following describes the function f of x? So we need to find the domain and we need to find a horizontal asymptote. So we're hitting two things here. So this is what I have to do. I'm going to change this problem in two ways first. The first way that I'm going to change it is going to help me find the domain. So I'm not going to change the top. I'm going to leave the top factored out like so. What is that, a 3? I almost made it an 8. Whew. I'm going to leave the top factored out like that. I'm going to factor out the bottom <clears throat> and two numbers that add up to 5 and multiply out to negative 24 are going to be x minus 8, x plus 3. Nope, x plus 8, x minus 3. That was a close one. So if I'm only focusing on the domain, I don't care about the top. Who cares? I'm only focusing on the numbers that I'm not allowed to plug in. And I'm not allowed to plug in negative 8 because that would make this guy 0, which would make the entire denominator 0, which makes the whole thing undefined. And I'm not allowed to plug in 3 because that would make that factor 0, which makes the whole bottom 0, which makes the whole thing undefined. So I am not allowed to plug in negative 8 and 3, which means I am allowed to plug in everything from negative infinity all the way up to negative 8, not including negative 8, so from negative 8 parentheses to negative 8 parentheses all the way up to 3, right? And then union again, let me get rid of that comma, union again from 3 to infinity. So that is the domain that I'm allowed to use. This is me saying I'm allowed to plug in whatever I want except not including negative 8 and not including 3. So that's going to take me not to here and not to here, but these guys are promising. Okay. Now I have to find the horizontal asymptote. Now the horizontal asymptote is found by taking the leading coefficient divided by the leading coefficient. All right, so I'm going to do that by rewriting this guy and foiling out the top. So if I foil out the top, I get x squared uh, plus 3x minus 8x is minus 5x minus 24. And that's all over x squared plus 5x minus 24. So we take the leading coefficient divided by the leading coefficient. Since the degrees are the same, it's literally just the leading coefficient, which is invisible 1, divided by the leading coefficient, which is invisible 1. And 1 divided by 1 is 1. And since this is a horizontal asymptote, it's going to be a horizontal line, which is y equals 1. So y equals 1 is going to be my leading coefficient, so not u and not u, which eliminates u. And it does have a horizontal asymptote. Now, if you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. When won't it have a horizontal asymptote? If the degree in the numerator is higher than the degree in the denominator, then it won't. But since they're the same, everything simplifies out nicely to just a regular one, which means my domain is u, and my horizontal asymptote is u, and my answer is u. Or as Soldier Boy would say, u. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching.